We're now going to use column subtraction to subtract more complicated numbers. So as with all of our subtractions, we're going to put the largest number into place value columns first. So we have 150,699, subtract the smaller number, which is 89,949. We need to make sure that we line this number up in the correct place value columns. So the units match, the tens match, the hundreds match, the thousands, the ten thousands match, and we don't have a hundred thousand amount in this number, so that one can just be sat there in its own place value column. We're then going to use column subtraction to complete this calculation. So nine minus nine is zero, nine minus four is five, six minus nine will give us a negative number. Don't forget, when we're using column subtraction, the top number has to be bigger than the small number. So when that is the case, when the number is smaller on top, we go to the next column and borrow. However, this next column is zero. There is nothing that we can borrow from. So we have to go to the next column, which is this five, and we're going to borrow one from there. So we're going to make that five, four, and put the one that we borrowed there. So if we go back to our original column, we still can't do six take away nine. So now we can borrow one from this 10 and make that nine and put the one that we've borrowed there. So we now have 16 subtract nine, which equals seven. We're going to put our comma there to show we're now working with thousands. Nine take away nine is zero. 4 take away 8 we can't do because the smaller number is on top. So we're going to go to the next value column, borrow one from there to make that 0. Put the 1 there that we borrowed to make this 14 take away 8, which gives us 6. And we don't now have anything in this column to subtract. So 150,699 subtract 89,949 gives us 60,750.